Hey, what's up guys? Cytex City here, back again with another video. This time bringing you guys a Bluetooth speaker from Siba, S-Y-B-A. Uh, not sure if it's Siba or Saiba, but that's not the point. So here's the speaker itself. It's the uh, red speaker that's shaped like a pill. So let's move this out of the way and first have a look at the packaging here. So this is the box that it comes in, nothing special about it, just a product image, um, some details. Uh, it's all in French. Uh, yeah, it's all in French, I'm not sure why it's in French. And it's in English, the name of the speaker here, Bluetooth speakers. Uh, it only comes with one speaker, I don't know why it's speakers. But anyways, on the sides we have just nothing too special. On the back, we have some details in English, German, um, and some other languages. And a diagram of the back of the speaker itself. So it comes with USB charging, and you can connect an, the included aux cable into it if your Bluetooth isn't working or you are using a device that doesn't have Bluetooth. So let's now take a look at what else comes in the package. Uh, it comes with an instructions manual, English and French, and how to uh, connect it to your device, all that good stuff. Uh, nothing too special about it. You can just figure it out as soon as you get it, because it's pretty simple. Here's the aux cable. Um, I wish these were gold-plated, because gold-plated gold aux cables bring better audio sound quality, but not a huge problem here. I use this for, I use a speaker for, uh, with Bluetooth of course, so I don't need the aux cable that often. And this is the micro USB cable for charging the speaker itself. So taking a, taking a look at the Bluetooth speaker itself, you can see that it's this red speaker that's shaped like... Okay, so taking a look at the speaker itself, this is the speaker. It's red overall with a black button on the front and this full metal chrome band around um, the whole speaker and it ends at the sides here and on the bottom we have a very rubbery um, foot, oh, this, this thing, that helps it not move around when it's placed on hard surface. And going to the back we have an aux jack, a micro USB 5 volt port for charging the speaker and speaking of charging this battery lasted me around six hours on a single charge which is not bad at all but I've seen other speakers which have better battery life uh, nearing around seven hours or eight hours but not a not a huge deal because it's not it's not burdensome for me to charge uh, charge something every day or every second day, but that depends on your personal preference, of course. And there's also an on and off switch here, so I can switch it on like that. And it makes a noise. And it goes into pairing mode right away. So you can go on your device and turn on Bluetooth. Okay, now it's in pairing mode. And pair and find this on your Bluetooth settings and yeah, you can pair it that way. So I'll turn it back off. And you can see the button on the front. It has a phone logo and a play and pause logo. So you can receive calls with this. I believe there's a microphone. Um, there's a microphone built into this. So you can take you can speak into it to use the built in microphone when you're taking calls. And the sound of course will come out through the speakers here. So speaking of speakers, the speakers are located at, uh, at the sides here and there's a passive radiator or a mini subwoofer in the middle here that radiates the bass. And so let's talk about the sound quality now. The sound quality of this is, is quite, at first I was quite disappointed to be honest because the, the overall sound was kind of muffled in a way and it wasn't that great, but after I let the speakers burn in a little bit, it got um, much better. And the highs, mids, and lows are well balanced. And the bass, bass is present as well, and it's, 
and it's neither neither overpowering nor um, underwhelming. So the sound overall is well balanced, but the muffling still um, a bit of the muffling still remained. So that's something to consider. But the overall form factor of, of this speaker, I really like it because it's soft touch plastic on the back. So they're not using shiny plastic here, so it's not going to get scratched up easily or it's going to draw fingerprints easily. And, you know, as you can see, it looks very, very nice. It resembles the look of a Beats Pill speaker. And, yeah, overall it's simple. It's, it's lightweight too, actually. It's not that heavy. It's portable. So, yeah, overall, the if it wasn't for the, um, if it wasn't for the, slightly muffled sound of the speaker it would be perfect but at this price range at the price range that this comes in this speaker is very very nice and i would recommend it to any music lover who likes to take their music anywhere they go so that was my review of the siba bluetooth wireless speaker i hope you guys enjoyed this review please make sure to leave a thumbs up if you did and leave a comment down below and subscribe peace out